Hello Lolos, welcome back to my channel guys. Today I am here with baby Grumpy and Grumpy is the um, name of the sculpt and I, um, she was sculpted by Jennifer Price. So um, with that being said, she is a full body silicone baby and I just wanted to show her, I believe she's about 15, 16 inches. Um, and I'm also going to attempt to put her on the um, on an H and M outfit, one of the smaller outfits. Now, I of course because of you know the way things work, I am a little reluctant to share her fully. Um, she's still still a little bit of a work in progress. Not much left to do. Um, she, if you see any moisture on her, it's just because she just got to wash off. She's um, she did get her lips glossed. I am going to root her eyelashes and then do her eyebrows. And I will do that today. And then I'll probably come back and show her again um, and also finish her nails. Um, and then she'll be good to go. Um, she's already a soul baby. She's on a layaway, on a short layaway. And so she'll be leaving shortly. But my goal is to have her done well before that last payment hit because... <laughs> Um, it's also, it's always a good thing, um, but you have to, you know, I know for me being a collector, when I, if I ever do a layaway, I tend to try to pay it off sooner than I actually say I need for paying it off. And I find that a lot of other collectors do absolutely the same. And um, so I try, I'm trying to hurry up because the mommy is already making payments faster. And so it's like soon she's going to be like, OK, last payment sent. And then it's like, boom, you know, so I have to have her ready to go. So I want her to be ready to go. I, I me personally, I don't like to make mommies wait, you know, after they paid their money. Because me, I'd be, I'd be looking for that instant gratification. Um, Sometimes, you know, things do cause for you to have to, you know, wait. You might be waiting for a last item to come in or something like that. And, you know. Or it might fall on a weekend or something like that. Or you, it just, it just depends, especially when you're, you know, dealing with multiple babies and stuff. But anyway, I was going to try this micro preemie diaper only because I have the Winnie the Pooh that I, I like. And so I was going to try that. And, but I know that she could fit regular diapers too. Um, preemie diapers, I've already had her on that. So I'm going to try my hardest to move the camera up and let you guys focus in on her face while I put her diaper on I think let me let me make sure that I got it up high enough okay let me let me pull up just a little bit more just to be on the safe side all right there we go all right um yeah, I just get tired of trying to slide it up and all that and stuff. I'm like, let me just, how about I just move the camera? That way, it's only on the face. You don't see what's going on. I'm going to try to put this little diaper on because I just like, even though the diaper might seem to be on the smaller side, I kind of like when it have that snug fit. And it doesn't look like it's like drowning the baby. So that's why I said, let me see if I could try the smaller diaper. And it looks like it's going to work, guys. So I'm excited about that. That way I could put her on a Winnie the Pooh one. One of my vintage Winnie the Pooh, which is very, will cost me a lot of money to buy that dog on diaper. But I wanted it so bad. <laughs> all right. So, all right. So now we got her diaper on. Get her ready to so we can scan down. All right. So now she got a diaper on. So I'm gonna show a little bit of her movement. And I'm doing this video for you guys, but also so the mommy can also see as well. And maybe some other people are expecting a grumpy or whatnot. Um, but she does not have armatures, and I I'm not one of those artists that knows how to do aftermarket products. I tend to not want to do them either because, you know, if, if anything go wrong, you messed up somebody's kit, 
especially if it's a customer or something like that or you know you messed up a lot of money so I don't I don't tend to do that um but that's just my my thing so this is her on her back as well but she's soft so she can she can kind of go into a lot of different ways but I just wanted you guys to see like her feet so let me let me get you guys to where you can see her feet um but those are her little feet and her her bag um I think this is a a nice little intro to my babies um you know every baby is different but here we go let's see so we're now gonna flip her over back over and i'm gonna try to put her on this outfit guys and see if she can fit um so the the kit itself does not come with an open mouth but i did get her mouth open and she like how it looks as if she has a tongue so i painted it so it's it's a very cute mouth her mouth actually she like she has a little tongue in there i love this this baby face like i have the blank the blank um just the head hold on i'll show it to you guys if you hang on i am still wanting to paint this dog on thing for myself but i gotta i've been trying to find some of the property and that's been challenging but uh, I don't want to um I've, I've washed it I had washed it and prepped it but I will have to wash it again now that I've pulled it out but this is basically let's see if you guys can see this is basically like her her the pour that I got for her was lighter than this but this is basically the kit blank this one too has a open mouth i cannot do silicone without open mouth but yeah it has an open mouth so this is a blank this is going to be my cuddle head baby i'm going to paint this one next um but this one would be for me personally i thought about giving it to gabby but gabby doesn't really like dolls like that anymore she still respects them <laughs> Like, she likes them. She understands that mommy is a doll collector and all that and stuff. And she'll, you know, like, make little cute sayings about them and stuff like that. And she looks in on them occasionally. And she has a few of her own that she may move around in her room. They're not reborns. And, um, well, she do have some reborns. I take that back. And um, she may move around occasionally. Um, when she had her tent up, she would put them in the tent with her and stuff like that but she doesn't really she doesn't really play with them anymore so it's a waste to invest that you know time and energy into making her doll now one day I will make her a doll just because I just want her to have one just because I am a doll maker and if anything should happen to me she can have something that I was passionate about and that I made specifically for her but I'm not in no rush right now to do it I guess I should because you never know when your time is up, but we gonna hope that I got a little bit more time here. Um, so this little outfit is a little too baggy. I, I probably wouldn't put her on this one, but it's not too far fetched off of her. But that is H and M. Now I have an H and M onesie over here. Let me see if this is. I think this is one of the smaller ones. I think Lily Grace could fit it. So let's see. Um, unfortunately, though, lately I haven't been seeing just the regular zero to one month on um, H and M site because there's a zero to one a month and then there's a zero to one one month PM. And I was buying the PM thinking that was standing for preemie, but no, the PM is bigger. So. You have to buy the zero to one month without the PM. So I'm taking her out of the camera because I'm gonna lift her up and I don't feel like it I feel like all that. It's just easier for me to change these babies off camera. That's why 
I sometimes I just like ugh. All right, so all right, so we got her here. Oh yeah, let's do a movement really quick. All right, so as you guys can see, her head her head falls completely back. Like I'm not holding her head, and it falls back. Um, her body bends like she is. She is super flexible. Like she will totally bend, put her hand in her mouth. Like she she is a, a bendy. She is a soft, soft baby. She's very soft. So she's not like marshmallowy soft, but she's soft. And she wrinkles when, when she bends up and around and stuff like that. So she is she's soft. Um, she has a little baby scratch on her nose. She has a little, um, like a little bit of a pimple right there. Um, I just got an eyelash on her. Anyway, um, she has veining and, um, so she's, and she has a modeling and stuff like that. She's, um, not my most detailed baby, but she's really detailed, <laughs> if that makes sense. Um, she's not just a blush and go baby. Um, so I was really thinking she would, you know, to make her a little bit more affordable than some of the other dolls that I paint because um, she is smaller and um, yeah. So I kind of do that. Like I, I, I. I Price my babies according to how I feel like they should be priced. Um, but I feel like if I don't like it, I, 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 won't, I won't put it out there. But I don't know. Lately, I've been thinking, like, what, what should I do if I, you know, have a boo-boo? Um one of the sculptors was asking that the other day and she actually sold it um the boo-boo baby that she had which was not a bad price and you know and i thought well that will probably give people an opportunity to um i know not well she was born in 2021 though um give them opportunity to be able to you know afford you know silicone or reborns that they couldn't afford normally because of a little flaw and a lot of times the flaws don't be that major but um the problem with it is is that you know when it goes the second and third and fourth market and people sell them and don't disclose that it was you know a not so perfect baby or a discounted baby or anything like that and people be like oh my gosh like i thought her work was better than this oh this is how she does and da 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 da, da. not knowing that this is you know, one of the, the babies that may have been less than perfect. I'm, I'm speaking in general, um, not necessarily about grumpy, but yeah. So um, that's the the issue with a lot of, why a lot of artists won't put their babies out as boo-boo babies. Um, I feel like you could mark the paperwork and say boo-boo baby on the paperwork or, you know, imperfect baby or less than perfect baby or discounted baby. I don't know what you would do in that case um i've had babies in the past and they they're marked as boo boo babies um so um i had a baby long years ago that i bought it was marked as a boo boo baby only because it was like considered too soft at the time before everybody was really going crazy over the soft and um that was the only thing wrong with it so um yeah so she can fit h m um, this outfit has been worn by a lot of different babies and stretched and stuff like that, but I'm, but she still fits it fairly well. So I'm, I'm still thinking she can, she can fit the H&M. Um, when you get it fresh out the pack and the smaller ones, it's going to work out. Um, and she definitely takes a full pacifier. I don't want to put a full pacifier in her mouth just yet because I want to make sure her lips are really, really good. Because I, they are cured and everything, but I just, you know, finished them. So I'm not going to do that just this moment, but I will put a pacifier in her 
mouth for pictures later before she goes home just so mom can see that she takes a full pacifier and stuff like that i tried my hardest to um you know show what i look for when i'm i'm looking for a baby or when i'm waiting on a baby you know um like i said if she was a ready baby i would have done a lot more videos for mom but um oh who was it that she wanted to put her aside oh Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. She wanted me to put her aside next to one of my preemies. So, um, I'm going to put her in. Oh, their color may clash big time, but oh, well. I'm going to put her aside. Um, Lily Grace, let's see. Let's see, let's see. So, this is Lily Grace, which is Mick by Audrey Stoetti. That tummy plate is way too small, to be honest. In my opinion, I thought it was because, I mean, I don't know. But that's just, I just feel like it was kind of on the small side, but that's just my opinion. But yeah, so her head is smaller, but she's not that much shorter. Let's see, head to head. There we go. Yeah, so she's not that. Like, that's her. So she's, and I always feel like reborns seem bigger than silicone to me. But that's just me. Let me get her next to Tink. So, and Tink have on her little bulky little clothes. So, this is her next to Tink. Now, like I mentioned to mom, Tink legs are more skinny, as you can see, compared to her leg size, which means that she'll fill out her clothes a little bit more. Let me, let me zoom in. So, yeah. So, like, her little legs are fatter. But, yeah. And, of course, whichever baby you have up front seem to look biggest, but... Technically, they are about, look, they're about the same size. See? I think her head is a little bit bigger than Tink's, but yeah. You get what I'm saying? Oh, come on, Poka. Um, I'll put her pants back on later. But yeah, that's, so, she's a decent size, um, See Piper, which is half pint. Oh, come here, mama. <laughs> so, and I put um, Piper on H&M and regular preemie clothes all the time. Like, this is a regular preemie out of Walmart. So, She's a good size. Um, she's small, but not like micro small. Oh, let me let me go get um, Jasper. Hold on, guys. Y'all, please bear with me. So I'm gonna get put Jasper next to her because she was asking, like, is she the same size as Jasper? So this is Jasper. And that's her. So absolutely not the same as Jasper. Jasper is like really tiny. Jasper is 14 inches. And um yeah, he's 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 my little peanut. Um still working on his little hair. Um, I, I'm pretty certain that I won't sell Jasper. I've been going back and forth with it, but I'm pretty certain that I can't let him go. But anyway, this is, I, I, I rooted him to be a hairy baby. So, oh, 
piece of land. Anyway. But yeah, he's so he's going to be a, a very little hairy little baby. Like his hair run down in his face. Um, and he has hair in the back, but then he doesn't have all his hair in the front. So let's see. So yeah. So yeah, as you can see, and he takes a pacifier too. He just takes a um, a micro preemie pacifier, but I open his mouth up a little bit deeper so that he can take a, you know, more better thing. But yeah, so I'm gonna zoom in, zoom, 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 zoom. So yeah, like he is like no comparison for her. Like <laughs> she, she is totally bigger than him. It is so funny. Like, look at them. So, yeah. Little peanut. He does have armatures in his arms, though. So, and, and I have to be a little careful with them, but I've gotten used to them. And I'm very thankful that Elsie um, Rodriguez put the um, armatures in for me because. I, that was the one thing, probably the reason that I sold Ruby, because she was really tiny. See, this one is big enough to where you can kind of put them in position, but, you know, with them being so tiny, you're already limited on what you can do. Like, even the legs, it's, like, limited. You really can't do much with his old little, little legs. But... <laughs> But his little feet is cute, and he's 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 a little. Let me see. I don't know what y'all can see, but yeah, he's a he's a little little peanut. But yeah, very much tiny than her. So so um, hopefully that answers some of the mommy's questions, and you know, I mean the deal is already done, which so she's all almost done paying for it, but still. You know, you have those, I don't know about y'all, like, my, I'm waiting on the baby, I start having all these thoughts, and, you know, you just, it, it's part of why, also, I don't like doing layaway, and I don't, I don't like doing layaway as a customer, and I don't like doing layaway as a seller, because you start to, like, second-guessing your choices, and all that great stuff, and not saying that she has, but it just, it gives you time for your mind to just run rapid, so, um, that, I just, you know, I told her, I said, I'm gonna show you. So here you go, baby. You got a whole full 23 minutes of video with your baby girl here. Um, and I will try to maybe, depending on how things go, get her on here again when she gets her eyebrows and her eyelashes and her, you know, nails uh, glossed and stuff. And um, I almost like her without her nails glossed, but I know how the community is. They like gloss nails, so I'm going to gloss them anyway. Um... But, you know, that's that's just, you know, like I said, the thing with me and my personal babies, I tend to do things that's outside of the norm um, more so than I do with babies that is going up for sale. So, but yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed seeing my two little ones. And um, real quick before I end this video, well, I'll, I'll talk about that later. <laughs>